One of the questions that perplexes many managers and team leaders is what is the perfect span of control? What is the right number of people that any really good manager or leader should be able to manage on their team? You've got some people who've got a span of control of one, and then you've got some nurse supervisors who come to work and they have a ratio of one to 40. You've got some folks running call centers where it's one supervisor to 70 people. So what is the right span of control? Well, we could noodle about it and debate it and argue about it over coffee, but it actually turns out that we have a way to answer that question. We know that the most productive and engaged teams are those teams where the team leader checks in with each individual one-on-one -on -one for about 10 or 15 minutes every week. And what they talk about in that check-in, now you could call it a conversation or you could call it a one-on-one -on -one, or you call it a touch base. The word check-in isn't, isn't precious. It's basically a, a, a touch point between you and each person on your team about near-term future work. Um, so a normal check-in would be, uh, hey Meredith, what are your priorities this week? And then how can I help you? Just what are your priorities? You've got 27 things on your to-do list. E each one of them isn't equally important. Uh, so what do you think is a priority this week? And then how can I as your team leader help? That's not a group huddle. That's not something that you can kind of take care of en masse. You've got to sit down or talk to or text. It doesn't seem to matter what the medium is with Meredith every week about near-term future work. When team leaders do that each week with each of their people, productivity, performance goes up, engagement goes up, turnover goes down. It's the single best driver of all those team outcomes is do I talk with you about near-term future work? Now, when you first say that, some team leaders go, well, I'd love to do that, but I can't because I've got too many people. In which case, yes, you have too many people. So it turns out that the right span of control for you, if you're a team leader, is the number of people that you can check in with once a week about near-term future work. If that number for you is 15, your span of control is 15. If you've got 15 people though, and you can't seem to get to them, you don't even get to some people, but once every three weeks, once every four weeks, and you rationalize it to yourself that, hey, they don't need you to check up on them. Remember, you're not checking up on them, you're just checking in, and if you can't get to people once every, week, then you've got too many people. You might have a span of control of only two people because all you can check in with is two people. Heck, you may be one of those people who can't even barely check in with yourself, in which case your span of control is one. So think of span of control actually as span of attention. It's not span of control. It's the number of people that you can pay individualized attention to about near-term future work every week. If you think about it that way, then you can be deliberate in ensuring that your team never gets so big that you start failing each week to give each person the attention they so desperately crave from you.